Ever since Apple Silicon made its debut sometime in late 2020, everyone has been enjoying the new battery life, the outstanding performance of macOS and its integration with Apple Silicon, and also the evolution from M1 to M2 to M3. But there is one thing that, you know, the ditching of x86 by Apple has caused and it's less compatibility as far as MacBook goes with games, yeah, and you know, gaming is an essential part of the computer world, yeah, which is why almost every single Windows user pulls that card out when they get in an argument with a Mac OS user. But you know what's not an argument, subscribe to my channel. So today we'll talk about the three best alternatives for gaming on Mac, yeah, because over the years, some companies have taken advantage of the fact that Mac OS on Apple Silicon doesn't really support games to an elemental level as well as, you know, x86 supports it. And that's partly due to the Arium platform on Apple Silicon and also due to, you know, the architectural build of Mac OS, which is not really fan favorite for game developers. There are three alternatives by the way, Parallels, VMware and Crossover. So I'll compare the three and I'll tell you which you should go for and you know i'll talk about everyone equally no bias any of them and you know if you're a professional if you're someone that you know wants to use you know the power of windows for other stuff beside gaming i'm here for you and also if you're a gamer yeah if you want to you know get the best graphic experience as far as making windows work on mac is possible yeah so who said you can't really eat your cake and have it? <laughs> now, Parallels and VMware are very alike. Yeah, unlike Crossover. And I'll compare Crossover and Parallels. But whatever I say for Parallels can apply to VMware. Yeah, so technically, Crossover is like it translates the Windows API calls to Mac OS API calls. Yeah, it takes less resources and generally it offers higher performance. Crossover is constantly translating APIs. Yeah, and that takes tons of resources especially if you have like an 8 gig ram macbook trust me you do not want an a6 ram for all this kind of stuff the way crossover works is that like crossover has to like continuously you know create api like changes it has to like keep translating the api continuously to make it work from a windows kind of language to a mac os kind of language yeah and that's actually tiresome but parallels on the other hand parallels has to like just create a virtual machine on which you can install Windows and run programs more. The API is more compatible on Parallels than Crossover. Yeah, because Parallels just has to create like one single platform once and then you know you install your Windows and you do every other thing. That platform already supports APIs on Windows. Yeah, all like Crossover that has to continuously keep doing it again and again and again for every single command that your game or your Windows app is trying to execute. Now the difference between Parallels and VMware on the other hand is like VMware to me is like a kind of glorified parallels. It's like parallels, but with everything a gamer would want or someone that uses serious apps or someone that needs those frames here yeah, on their Windows OS. By the way, if you want to install parallels or crossover or VMware, I have links in the description of this video that will take you to the main websites where the app developers drop the files yeah and also i have tutorial videos i also link that will help you you know guide you through the installation process as some of them are quite you know trickier the thing now is that before you even try out parallels or crossover or vmware you have to first understand what exactly you're trying to achieve yeah you can't just you know need gaming and then you go for the wrong one because each single one has what it works best for yeah, I'm going to dive straight into it right now. Now, crossover is going to help a lot with saving space. And why is that? Crossover doesn't really need to, you know, run the whole disk image of Windows 10 or 11 because it's already just, you know, it does the job of the Windows 10 on its own. Which is why I said it generates API calls every single time an API needs to happen from a Windows state to a Mac OS state. Yeah, so crossover will help you to save space. Unlike Parallels and VMware, that you all need to, you know, get the ISO of Windows to even make it work in the first place. Yeah, so that's just the issue here. So apart from space saving, when I talk about like performance, when you compare crossover and parallels, crossover seems to do well, but parallels seems to do better. Why is that? Parallels doesn't even like support DirectX 12 as well as it's supposed. I don't even think it had DirectX 12, probably 11 or 10. 
crossover same story yeah i think 11 he marks it out at, as far as i knew while making this video and vmware on the other hand has direct x12 yeah which i'll get to in a moment so like when you compare parallels and crossover crossover thanks to that constant api call stuff it does it has like slightly less performance than parallels parallels just has to create a single platform once before having to you know run the iso of the windows and also run the os after installing it and also run your game or your app that has the exe yeah so because of that all i'll just say simply is that parallels is better for performance crossover is better for saving space and flexibility yeah because if you mess up your parallels package you may have to start installing your windows and also you have to deal with windows updates you have to deal with activating windows all this kind of stuff which you might not even care about because all you just want is to make your app or your game work yeah and that's what crossover is for crossover gets straight to the point so it doesn't really bother you with all those you know installations and gui yeah gui is not even its focus it's more focused on getting the app to work in the first place VMware on the other hand which i said it's a glorified kind of parallels because it has direct x12 support yeah i will link a video also to vmware how to install it i did a video on that recently direct x12 on mac OS, which is crazy so it has the most support as far as i think i don't really think anything should beat it why because direct x12 is direct x12 yeah that's just it so it's more modern and also it has windows supports it's you know it's easy to install relatively all you have to do is just download the default iso for arm you can even get the app to do it so you already have to go do it yourself before you go pick the wrong kind of version yeah so that's technically what you know they are when you talk about the pricing crossover is not free at all yeah and parallels on the other hand all you get is a 14 day trial and a hefty price to pay but vmware is different vmware has a paid plan that is but there's also a free plan that gives you a free license code it's very useful for students the thing is that i don't really think that free plan supports direct x12 yeah but i used it once i can't really remember what it's supposed to what it doesn't support but it gives you an actual license for like a student kind of plan or something yeah so that's something you can actually consider i would recommend vmware for that if you're looking for like affordability parallel just gives 14 days trial which once you get anywhere except you're trying to just test to see if it's a good fit for you so like i said before i'll summarize again neither one of these three i mentioned is like a perfect stop for you you will need to like test all of them one by one to make sure you know it actually runs what you want to run but if i were you and i wanted to like you know suggest something to the viewers i would say start with vmware the vmware to me seems to have the highest direct x and also the highest compatibility and support yeah so technically thanks for watching the video hope you learned one or two and also don't hesitate to check out those links if you want to get the guide on installing any of these programs i'll see you guys